Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the tag video, death row, funny tag, emulating a sort of shave on death row in a funny kind of way, difficult tag to emulate, difficult thing to do, took a bit of thinking up but here we go, so here I am, his majesty's prison slayed, but it's an old t-shirt so it's still got the Queen's crown on, not the King's crown. So His Majesty's Prison Slade will be breakfast up in the corner there. And I'm about two days away from getting the neck stretched. So I'm going to have one of my final shaves. And what am I shaving with today? Well, let me show you what I could probably shave with on death row. Right, the soap. It's no frills, they just give us these sticks, yeah, shaving sticks, it smells like alcohol, and I believe this is what they get in British prisons, for shave soap, but I'm told that the prisoners don't shave with them, they throw them into the slot bucket to help disguise the scent of stale urine and diarrhoea. But the smell of alcohol, I think I prefer the smell of stale urine and diarrhea. So that's the soap for today. Razor today, it was sent to me by a prison officer, or he's from the United States, so I suppose he's a prison guard, a prison warder over there. And this is the razor they use in his prison. It's Chuck Shaving Channel, check him out. And he sent me this all the way from the United States of America. Yeah. You've never seen me use a disposable thing before, have you? And I can't remember the last time I used one myself. Oh, they've uh, uncuffed me. Just one wrist. Oh, look, the head pivots. And it's a twin blade. Now, you can take these blades out. You can get a plastic toothbrush, and this is what a lot of the inmates do. They melt the toothbrush if they can find an ignition source because there's no smoke for the loud in prisons now, so no matches or lighters. And they'll melt these blades into the top of the toothbrush, so many millimeters apart. Slash! It leaves a bad cut on somebody's face, which is millimeters apart, so very difficult to stitch. Very, very ugly scar. That's unfortunately what I'm shaving with today. Okay, let's get down to business. Let's wet the whiskers. I've just emptied my jug. They just bought a jug of water in for me. Hurry up, Jim will shave. Well, okay, boss, I'll be as quick as I can. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna wet the whiskers. It's not often to give us warm water in here. The wind's powering outside. It's, uh, can't hear the guard dogs yet though, which is very rare. I usually can't hear those guard dogs, as you know. But uh, yeah, they're, they're not on duty today. So I'll get a shave stick. And that's it. Now I was tagged by Dave and KY to do this video some time back. And I thought, how on earth am I going to do that? And this is the best way I could think of, because I know, certainly, ooh, 25 years ago, somewhere on out there, I do know that uh, shaving sticks were issued in British prisons. So, good helping of our cob shave soap here. And I was told that uh, the shaving sticks didn't smell very nice, so that convinced me. Probably is alcohol. <laughs> I wanted a cheaper shaving soap she could buy, of course. Okay, let's go with that. Rinse my fingers off. Right. 
Just gonna grab the brush. 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 Uh brush. We've only got one brush between the wing. It was smuggled in by one of the visitors. I'm just gonna have to shout to the cell upstairs and he'll lower it down on a piece of thread for me. Then when he needs it, he can lift it back up. Well matey, lower the shaving brush down. Thank you. Cheers buddy. Oh, here it is. Here it is. And uh, when he needs it back, he'll just lift the thread up. And, so I better take the thread off now just in case he whips it out of my hands before I've finished with it. Yeah. Because some of the lads in here are like that, you know. I'll let the magic begin. Although this is a cheap shaving soap. Shouldn't smell that nice. It's a good soap. I'm getting all oh, the group and all over my soul floor here. Who's humping your wife tonight, Jim will shave? I'm not married, boss. Oh, have you turned jail gay? No boss, I haven't turned jail gay. I couldn't handle the pain. <laughs> okay, so I've just got to get this neck of mine in a reasonable condition to face the hangman's rope. Before they stretch it, I don't want razor burn. Could you imagine that? Face of the hangman, getting your neck stretched with razor burn. That would be very, very unpleasant. And I have to tell you, this razor, or so called razor, if you're going to see me use now, you won't ever, ever see me use one again because I'll be dead. I will have gone to meet thy maker. Hung, neck stretched. With a prison towel. Okay. It's got one of those lubricating strips on it. All the way from the United States of America. Oh my gosh. Now that blade, blades. If you've ever thought, when you hear traditional wet shavers dissing uh, disposable, plastic disposable razors, and you think their rantings were unfounded, I can tell you that this razor is SH1T. The blades are blunt. It's it's not even taking a bloody soap off. I tell you what, <laughs> after this, I'm gonna welcome the hangman's noose. I don't want to shave with one of these again. It's gonna be the worst blade I've ever had. To my face and that lubrication strip there's all sorts of goo coming off it and was it a goo like elastic that's coming from the, the strip and it's just oh that is that is disgusting tell you what fellas you never want to end up in prison that is disgusting And the blades, honestly, the 
clogging up with the goo from the strip. And this is all just goo. Look at that. That's just pure goo. From the strip. Now, these blades, they're probably equivalent to uh, a DE blade that's been used 500 times. It really is rough. And with razors like this, it's, uh, it's a wonder we get so many repeat offenders, you know? Don't want to look back into jail or perhaps they come out with big bushy beards. This is really, really nasty. Oh, look at the crap left on the face. And honest guys, that's not so. That's just, well, maybe it is so mixed in with the goo from the uh, glide strip off the uh, so-called razor. We're gonna have to rinse this crap off. Look at it. I'll tell you what, that goo, that, that goo could create some slime, I tell you. It's, uh, it's even hard to rinse off. I'm just going to have to try and shave it off. Across the grain. Eek. That looks like something disgusting. Look at it. It's like sticky raw egg white on the face. Oh gosh. This is the first time I've ever used a razor with a lubricating strip. And the last. How oh, can people shave with one of these every day? It's beyond me. Oh gosh. And it's just slight like raw egg whites. Um gonna I don't think I'm gonna Get BBS from this. Now, are you ever in any doubt about the effectiveness of these disposable razors with lubricating strips? Let me tell you, all the bad things you've heard about them are true. <laughs> This is the worst shaving experience ever. I mean, in the past, I've shaved with Bix, plastic Bix. And they were luxury compared to this thing. In fact, that strip. You could probably get away with using shaving so Now no way in this world am I going to get PBS off this and I'm not going to push it anymore because my skin's burning, burning. Right, I'm going to try and rinse this off, it's going to take a little while. Right, it's going to be a flower job. <laughs> well, I was looking forward to doing this uh, Death Pro Shave until I took the first few swipes, first few strokes of that uh, disgusting razor. I'll put the name of the razor 
in the disc. Oh, yeah, my cuffs are coming done. Good. I'll put the name of the razor. Should you want to buy one? <laughs> nah, <laughs> you won't. Right. I'm in prison, guys, on death row. There's no uh, there's no aftershave splash. How does the skin feel? <laughs> Definitely not BBS. A mile from it. It looks okay from a distance. It looks like I've had a good shave, but uh, bristle all over the neck. Uh, I did do three passes in a way. But there's bristle all over the neck, and this is just this is just a terrible way to meet my maker. It really is. So that's it, guys. That's the uh, the end of my life. Uh, don't want some Skype though, just in case I come back from the dead. But uh, yeah, tomorrow, maybe the death day. Next day, I mean, that's me. I mean, uh, I'm gonna be getting the neck stretched. I'm uh, gonna be hanging from that rope. I'm a dead man walking. Okay, I need to take four inmates with me, i.e. Tag, Chris Bedwell, CB Shaves, uh, Charles, Chuck shaving channel. See what it's like from the inside of the cell, buddy. You're tagged. And we need a big channel. Because I'm sure Kevy Shaves will do a good one of these, so you're tagged too. Okay, guys. I'll see you on the dark side sometime. Bye-bye. Enjoy your life.